We shall now hear a statement by Shi Tez Chit Martinez, representative of civil society. <clears throat> Sengatlaso Kamati, Tonan Sintlali Kautlikwe, Sengatlaso Kamati At, Sengatlaso Kamati Data Tonatiu. Kualitlanesi, buenos dias. Good morning, everybody. My name is Shutes Katonatiu. I'm very, very honored to be here today. I think it's amazing to look around the world and see almost 200 countries represented here today because it's really going to take united action from all of us in order to make a difference. I'm 15 years old, and I'm the youth director of an organization called Earth Guardians, and I'm working with young people around the planet to protect our earth, our air, our water, and our atmosphere for my generation and those to follow. I stand before you today representing my entire generation. As well as generations unborn, I stand before you representing the indigenous peoples of this earth and those that will inherit the effects of our climate crisis that we face today as a global community. My father raised me in the Mexica tradition. I learned from my father that all life is sacred. He showed me that every living thing is connected because we all draw life from the same earth and we all drink from the same waters. I was raised in the ceremonies of my people, learning the dances, the songs, and the language that was passed on to me by my, my people, by my ancestors. And what I learned from my cultural heritage is that this life is a gift. And it is our responsibility to respect and protect that which gives us life. So I began to, to look at the world around me and begin to learn about the issues that we are facing. And I saw that we were facing a crisis that was beginning to affect every living system on our planet. I saw that climate change was gonna be the defining issue of our time. Seeing this world, seeing my world collapsing around me pushed me into action. So for the last nine years since I was six years old, I've been on the front lines of climate and environmental movements, standing up to fight for my future and for our planet. What a lot of people fail to see or simply ignore is that climate change isn't an issue that is far off in the future. It isn't solely affecting the ice caps and the poles or the sea level rise in our oceans. It's affecting us right here, right now, and will only continue to get worse. In a three-month period, my family and I, we witnessed the greatest wildfires and the worst floods we've ever seen in Colorado history. Frequency and severity of massive storms and massive floods, massive superstorms are increasing all over the planet because of our lack of action and because of the increase in carbon dioxide emissions, because of the way that we are living. And because of this, young people are standing up all over the planet because we see that climate change is a human rights issue. It is affecting especially developing countries, women, children, and people of color more than anything else. We have to realize that what is at stake is no longer just the planet, is no longer just the environment, but what's at stake right now is the existence of my generation. What is at stake right now, what we are fighting to protect, what is in your hands, what is in our hands today, is the survival of this generation and the continuation of the human race. That is what is at stake. So youth are standing up all over the planet to find solutions to the issues that will be left to my generation. Earth Guardian crews are starting up all over the planet and youth are using their passions to address some of the greatest issues of our time by planting seeds of solutions that can change the world. Over 400,000 people marched through the streets of New York City in the greatest climate march in the history of the world. More than 220 institutions have divested from fossil fuels with the help of student-led movements. And that number continues to grow. Youth like myself across the United States are suing our state and federal governments, demanding them to take action on climate change immediately. We are flooding the streets and we are now flooding the courts to show the world that there is a movement on the rise and that our generation is at the front of that movement, fighting for the solutions that we need and we need you to help us. We are approaching 21 years of United Nations climate talks and in the last 20 years of negotiations, almost no agreements have been made on a bonding climate recovery plan. 
our window of opportunity to take action is shrinking as the problem exponentially increases. We need you to take action at COP21 before it's too late. Because as I said, what's at stake right now is the future of your children, our children, my children, our grandchildren. When we look into our eyes, we see the next generation. And we see that that is the planet that we are leaving to them. We look at the world and we see the planet that we will leave to our generation. So don't be afraid to dream big. Because not only is it possible to get off of fossil fuels, but it is already happening. Cities and countries around the planet are committing to go 100% renewable in the first half of the century. The Pope himself called for a shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy. The solutions are here. And with them are coming millions of jobs and economic opportunities. Imagine if we took all the money that we are pouring into the fossil fuel industry and into the nuclear industry and put that into renewables. Imagine what we could accomplish. Phasing out fossil fuels is a dream that is slowly becoming a reality. And the question is, will it happen fast enough to avoid further climate catastrophe? It's time to look to the skies for the solutions that we need. Because the future of energy is no longer down a hole. We need to reconnect with the earth and end this mindset that we have that we can take whatever we want without ever giving back or understanding the harm that we are doing to the planet. It's this mindset of destruction, of greed, that is tearing apart our planet. We need to change the fundamental beliefs of our entire society. We have to remember that we are all indigenous to this earth and that we are all connected. Every generation leaves a mark on this planet. We leave something behind to be remembered by, and we are at a tipping point right now where we will either be remembered as a generation that destroyed the planet, as a generation that put profits before future, or as a generation that united to address the greatest issue of our time by changing our relationship with the earth. We are being called upon to use our courage, our innovation, our creativity, and our passion to bring forth a new world. So in the light of this collapsing world that we see, what better time to be born than now? What better time to be alive than now? Because this generation, the people in this room right here, we get to change the course of history. Humans have created the greatest crisis that we see on the planet. And the greater the challenge, the higher we will rise to overcome it. We need you to stand with us. Never before has there been such a unifying issue as climate change. And it is time now to set aside everything that divides us. Everything that separates us. Everything that makes us want to point a finger at someone else and throw the problem to them. Who will stand with me now for mine and future generations to inherit a healthy, just, and sustainable planet? Who will stand with me now? The hope of this planet, of this generation, is in our hands. I don't want you to stand up for us. I want you to stand up with us. Because together we can change the world. And it's not going to be easy but it is our responsibility, we owe it to future generations to be the leaders of today so that they can have a tomorrow. Thank you.